It all started with an E minor. Next is C, followed with G, finished with a D. E minor. Next is C, followed with G, finished with a D. E minor. Hello, my name is Ross Huff. I'm a musical comedian here in the Fox Valley. Uh, started doing this a few years ago and wasn't that good at music and I wasn't that good at comedy, so I combined the two and found that it it works, I guess, for me. So um, It's going to get intimate here in this studio, and uh, I hope you guys are ready for that because this is a little song about the first time I made love. I'm done. Thank you very much. A little song about the first time I made love. Now, uh, <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> Let me tell you a little bit where I'm from. Uh, from the Fox Valley here, and um, lived in Nina in, for a while. And in Nina, there was this infamous turkey. The turkey's name was Jake. And uh, Jake the turkey actually was so infamous he had his own Facebook page. It was pretty cool. And um, I followed Jake's Facebook page. And I found out through it that uh, Jake liked to hang around the local Dairy Queen in traffic and unfortunately got hit by a car one day. Now, don't worry, he didn't die. Per his Facebook page, he only suffered a concussion, which raises the question, how the hell do you know a turkey has a concussion? <laughs> Picture they were sitting in a room with Jake, like, all right, Jake, how many fingers am I holding up? And Jake answered, Like, I don't know what to do here. It's a simple question. Does any of you guys got to work tomorrow? You're working right now, aren't you? Work sucks sometimes, doesn't it? I say work, you say sucks. Ready, work? Sucks. Work? Sucks. That it does, but there's one part about work I do like, and I wrote a little song about it. I've been sitting here an hour, legs have fallen asleep. Whoever's sitting next to me has... Barely made a peep Got red circles above my knees From where my elbows have been As I scroll through my newsfeed And check on my friends I'm taking a work poop, baby Getting paid to be sitting here daily Taking a work poop, that's right Maybe it's time that I should wipe It's ten o'clock in the morning my bowel movements are right on time my phone is in my front pocket the battery is at 69 nice i step away from my workstation head to the nearest john oh man that dinner i had at ooh hot i'm definitely feeling the wrath of con taking a work Poop, baby, getting paid to be sitting here daily, taking a work, poop, that's right, maybe it's time that I should wipe. My co-workers think I'm lazy for being gone for way too long, it's a long time. I don't care, backside bear, as I sit right here on the toilet writing this song. I feel just like a king As I sit upon my throne Trumpets blare, kids stop and stare My royal scepter is my phone I'm taking a work, poop, baby Getting paid to be sitting here daily Taking a work, poop, that's right Maybe it's time that I should wipe now one thing about this song is after I wrote it and sang it a few times, I've noticed a lot of people, they'll come up to me and they'll be like, so Ross, I was singing about you the other day. I'm like, oh really? And they're like, yeah, I was taking a poop at work and like, it's like, oh, that's what I'm known for, huh? And I'm gonna hang my hat on it because it's a good song. I think it's pretty catchy too and I think you guys know the words. You ready? Sing along. Three, two, one. I'm taking a work poop. Baby, getting paid to be sitting here daily. Taking a work, poop, that's right. 
maybe it's time that I should wipe. Thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's a fun song. I enjoy that one. I uh, actually got to do it at my work um, in front of like corporate HR and everything too. <laughs> it was funny because everyone's laughing and corporate HR is like looking at everybody like, why are they all laughing at this? Do you think they're really? I think they had a meeting afterwards and they're like, do you think their employees are really sitting on the toilets for hours at a time on their phones? And like they're like, yeah, exactly. That's what they're doing. So and I get a lot of times too because the people that saw me, they're like. Oh, you're going to take a work poop, huh? You know, when they see me, it's like, no, actually, I'm going to grab some nuts and bolts to do my job, you know? <laughs> but and they're like, yeah, I can see the disappointment in their face. And I'm like, but after that, don't worry, I'm taking a work poop. And then they smile right away again. So, so uh, a little bit more about me. Uh, I'm a father of two kids, and uh, being a dad is a huge part of my life. You guys, any, any guys have kids? Yeah? Yep. Yeah. So, so you can agree with me. It's, being a dad is awesome. I, fi I love every minute of it, right? Amen. Well, maybe not every minute. Let's be honest here, right? Like, I find myself saying the same phrases over and over again. I like to call these phrases dad's greatest hits. Kind of makes me think of those infomercials from the 90s. I don't know if you remember them, but uh, imagine owning dad's greatest hits. Oh, and one amazing collection. And for only four payments of $9.99, you can own timeless classics like... <laughs> the toilet there's a log hanging halfway out it's as big as King Kong and hit tracks performed by some of the greatest voices of our time like how did you get spaghetti sauce all over your armpit <laughs> that is right for only four easy payments of $9.99 you can own this once in a lifetime collection on four CDs or cassette tapes that's over eight hours of chart topping hits like why are my shoes in the refrigerator? And who can forget such lyrics that change the world like, Put that down. Dad's flashlight is not a toy. Call now and we will knock that number of payments down to three. Yes, you heard me right. Three payments of nine ninety nine for this collection of Dad's Greatest Hits. When you use a credit card or in the next two minutes, time is running out. Grab that phone and call 1-800-KIDS-SUCK. But seriously, though, I, I do love being a dad. I have two kids. I have a son and a daughter. My son, Nolan, uh, he's eight years old now. He actually helped me write a song when he was five. And uh, I thought it was pretty cool. You guys want me to play it for you? Yeah, yeah it's, you know, a pretty creative kid. I don't want to take a nap. I don't want to take a bath. I love Legos. I'm like, wow, you know, like, pretty impressive for a five-year-old. That kid's going places is what I thought. I liked it so much I wrote my own little verse for it, and this is what I came up with. I don't want to go to work. I don't want to pay my bills. I also love Legos. Because they're for all ages. Let's be real here, guys. So, like, uh, a little bit more about my son. He's actually more financially responsible than I am. He received $100 for his birthday, which he plans on saving. Good for him. Me, on the other hand, I owe my son $100. <laughs> but, yeah, it's, uh, it's interesting. But you find these, like, times in your life where uh, you see a moment where you, you need to parent. And it's like, okay, this is a parenting moment. And I had that the other weekend with him when we went to a wedding we went to the bathroom and he pulled his pants all the way down to his ankles when he went to take a pee it's right I'm raising that kid so I had to go all right here this is the parenting moment like this is where I need to step in and do something because this is a teachable moment so I pulled my pants down in a move of solidarity it was amazing we high five mid pee it was really it was a bonding <laughs> moment so, uh, like I said, I have two children. I have a daughter as well. My daughter, Avery, is actually 12 years old. And um, she's on the autism spectrum. She's nonverbal. But uh, the trials and tribulations that this little girl continues to overcome on a daily basis just continues to amaze me. Like, it's really cool. Like, I, she's a real rock star. She really is.
But uh, yeah, my little girl, I like to sing her a little lullaby every night. And uh, I wonder if it's all right if I sing that for you guys. All right. So you're wondering where mom is, why she hasn't been around. Maybe in some other country, lost and waiting to be found. Or is she off on business? Can we send her a little mail? Little girl, I'm sorry to tell you, but mama's in jail. Mama's in jail. Predisposition is to fail. Mama's in jail, oh no, and daddy's not paying bail. Now I could just lie and tell you that everything is gonna be all right. It will tell you mom went off to Bible camp. If it helps you sleep at night, but truth is, mom, she's in jail for the things she has done. We can visit her tomorrow behind glass. Won't it be fun? This is way too real for you guys, isn't it? Mama's in jail. Predisposition is to fail. Mama's in jail. Oh, 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 not not paying bail. A little Eddie better for you guys. Now, girl, you rest your head. Close your blue eyes nice and tight. Because mom's new jail wife, Betty, will make sure she's doing all right. He brought it back. Climb in bed. I'll tuck you in. Give your dad a good night kiss. I hope you dream of many pleasant things as I leave you with this. Mama's in jail. Predisposition is to fail. Mama's in jail. Oh no, and daddy. Not paying bail. No, I'm not paying bail. No way I'm gonna be paying her bail. Not paying her bail. Big finish. Oh no, daddy. He won't be paying her bail. Thank you. Thank you very much. D minor, next is C, follow it G, finish with a D. Cause it was solo. Into the microphone, Tom, what the hell? Yeah, a solo, dude. You sound like you're making love to that thing in a very bad way. Oh, no, come on, come on. Give it up for Tom, come on. Yeah. Not too much, though. Let's not forget who the star of the show is here. Come on. Seriously. Oh. Well, here's our last verse. Let's go out with a bang. And thanks to all of you who came, all of you guys here in the studio who I came to. I'm sure another comic is what brought you here, but I ask that you stop and raise your beer. Just pretend beers. Yeah, here we go. This one's for you. Now tip one back. Quit looking at me like I'm a snack. I see you back there. No, I'm kidding, you guys are pretty cool. You all graduate from my music school. Good job, guys, besides Tommy sucks. <laughs>